Today I'll be working on some thrift flips for patriotic nautical decor and this is part of the third Thursday thrift flips challenge hosted every month by Tammy of the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth from Southern G More Gals. Both their channel links and a link for this playlist are in the descriptions. I thrifted four of these bottles for a dollar each and the shape to me looks kind of like a buoy so I'm going to paint it up as such. I will start with a coat of white chalk paint and I'll go all the way around up to a certain point where I think the buoy would end and I'll insert a picture here of what I'm trying to go for. I'm not going to try to get all the brush strokes out because I think that just adds appeal to a weathered looking buoy. Now I'm going to use my Admiral Blue color and put a couple of stripes around the bottle. I'm not taping it off because I'm not trying to get it perfect. Um, the more imperfect this is, the more authentic I think it looks. More handmade looking, if you will. I'm putting one close to the top, and then I'll put another stripe of that blue close to the bottom, leaving just a little bit of the white at the bottom showing. You'll see in just a minute. I'll pour some of that paint into the lid, and just going all the way around like so. I grabbed a different color of blue called bright blue, that I wanted to make some tiny stripes with. I thought it would be a lot different than the Admiral Blue. After it dried, it really wasn't, but you know, it's okay. And here I'm just doing imperfect line all the way around that bottle. I did not have a good size number stencil to go on the bottle, so I decided to take some of my stamps instead and I only found one number, the number one. So I'm going to use it and a O as a number zero. And I'm using flag red paint, putting it on the stamp and then stamping it on. And boy, is it crooked, but boy, does it not matter. And then I'm going to use this anchor. Dollar Tree anchor that I'd previously painted light blue. I'm going to paint over that with the flag red. And then once it dries, I'm going to give it a little bit of distressing. Now I'm going to take some red twine. And I'm not measuring. I just pulled off a long length of that. And then I folded it in half. Folded it in half again. Strung that through the top of that anchor, made a little loop on there, and I'm going to be tying it right around the top. I'm covering the rest of the glass bottle up to that wire and cork, and I just tied that on, snipped the ends, fixed it the way I wanted it. I wanted it kind of slanting, and there she is. I don't know why I'm having a problem with my light today. Anyway, it still shows up well enough for you to see what I've made. And so let's get into the next flip. This jewelry box is getting a nautical theme makeover. I picked it up at a yard sale for a dollar. And rather than trying to clean the felty like stuff in the bottom of the box and this little tray that sits in there, I'm just ripping it out to the wood. Now, I won't be doing the inside of the box today. That's a later project. I was met with very little resistance taking this out. I only had a couple of areas where the glue was still sticking. So, I took a sanding block and just sanded that smooth. And since I removed the little ledge that the insert was on, I took four of the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. Hot glued one in each corner and that will give me the lift on that little 
tray. It fit just perfectly. Last thing I do is give it a good cleaning with some alcohol on a cloth and that will get it ready to paint with Apple Barrel White Acrylic Paint. I'm doing two coats over the leopard spots and the other solid beige areas, I'll just do one coat on that. I'm not trying to get full coverage, I just don't want that leopard print showing through the cloth that I'm putting on. This is Dollar Tree cloth with a nautical theme and I'm going to glue it down on the top first. I really didn't know which way to go with this, but I'll tell you, I picked up some things during this that I will pass along to you that would make it easier if you want to do this project. But here I'm just putting Mod Podge all over the top. I'll stick that cloth down and smooth it out, get any, any wrinkles out of that. And then once I let it dry a bit, I'm going to come in and snip away some of that excess. I'm going to cut a little bit to have an overhang on the lid in the front. And I want the anchors to be upright all the way around this box. That's why I'm doing it in pieces like this. I just snipped it and ripped it and decided I kind of like the frayed edges. So when I did the sides, I went ahead and cut all the way up against the side of that top and then I'll come in on those with some frayed edges as well. Here I'm Mod Podging the front of that down. I will roll that piece of cloth underneath and Mod Podge there as well. And now I'm taking a second piece and putting it on the bottom part of the front. And again, I'm just snipping and ripping. And I'm going to have a little bit of a bulge on the front, but I'll fix that in a minute. Now here I'm doing the sides, and you can see I got my Smarticles on for that because I just put one piece over the entire side, then come back in with my rotary cutter and cut that piece apart so I could still open the lid. Now I'm going to use one of the Dollar Tree wood cutouts of a ship's wheel. I'm painting it with one coat of Admiral Blue all over one side and all those little edges that I can get into with my small brush. And then I'm going to glue it right there where a key used to go. Of course, I don't have a key. Of course, I don't want to mess with trying to cut out all that. And this is going to camouflage that little um, protruding piece there. And I'm still able to open the box, even though I've put that decorative piece on there. Here it is all finished. I'm thinking about putting a pearl in the center of that ship's wheel. What do you think? Now let's get into some freebies. Can you believe somebody threw this in the dump? Well, some of you might can believe, but I see a diamond in the rough here. There's so many little details on this ship. And it really just needs a good cleaning. There's some places where the paint's chipped, so I'm going to freshen up the paint just a little bit. And there's no manufacturer's mark, which leads me to believe that it may even be handmade. So, I'm going to clean this up very well, get all those layers of dust off, and then I will be back. This is already looking so much better. Just look at all the detail. I can't get over the crab trap on there, the extra rope, netting. Um, I think maybe this is supposed to be a shrimp boat. I'm not really sure about that. What I'm going to do is use some of my Admiral Blue paint and paint the bottom of the boat to give it some separation between the black stand that it's sitting on and also to add a punch of blue. I decided not to do any of the detail work because it would be just too tedious for me. I'm fixing the sail where it had come loose on one of those corners and I'm also going to be adding a piece of Hobby Lobby paper in an American Stars and Stripes motif. It'll just be like a little extra sail 
there on top of that because I realized I was trying to get all my lines so straight and the original cell is not straight. But we're going with that. Just taking it with some hot glue at the top, bottom corner, a couple of dots on that other side, and then I'm going to glue it down to the mast, I believe that's called. If you know exactly what kind of boat this is, please tell me in the comments. Then taking some of those little pieces from um, what I cut off of the Hobby Lobby paper, I'm making some little triangle shapes, kind of like a banner. And I'm going to go over one of those fishing net poles, like so. With that, just to add a little more American punch there. Then I'm going to take some Dollar Tree stickers and spell out Junkernecker to go on the side. Since the hole was rounded, I couldn't really stick them all down at the same time so I just went letter by letter putting my name on the boat and now I have my own little personalized miniature shrimping boat I'm not sure where the little lifeboat on the back is supposed to be I think it's probably supposed to be hanging off the back side of the boat so I may tinker with that a little more and get it more authentic but yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Another find from the dump. Cute little lighthouse that has this metal piece that comes out that you put a tea light in. And the light shines through those windows. I'm going to give it some punch of red and blue and some fresh white on there. After a thorough cleaning. I started with some flag red paint on that bottom large section and I could tell right away it was going to take at least two coats. It actually took me three coats to cover that black because this is kind of a, um, I don't know if it's called bisque or what, but it's real porous feeling. Now for the white area, I'm freshening it up with some white Waverly chalk paint. And luckily that only took one coat. I used the color bright blue to paint that black stripe that was between the white and red on the lighthouse there. And then I also used the same bright blue color to outline the windows. I had some areas on that brick at the bottom that I accidentally overshot with the red so I'm covering that just the top of the bricks not the wall itself just cleaning that up brightening it up and I'm using the Waverly white there and also I'm using my heat gun to dry paint in between colors because I have so many different layers going on here the last little patriotic touch is some Hobby Lobby ribbon and stars and stripes. And I'm going to put it right around that top section of the brick like so. Figured out what I wanted the front side of this to be. I cut enough to wrap it around. Just some little dots of hot glue here and there to stick it down. And last thing to do is add a little tea light in there. And now I've got a fresh refurbished lighthouse. There's a screenshot at the side of what it looked like before. I wish I had thought to do that with all of these DIYs. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. And if you would like to see these DIYs along with some Dollar Tree patriotic decor, Tune in on June 23rd when my friend Becky and I are hosting an open playlist of red, white, and blue vignettes. If you would like to join us on this playlist, you'll find some information about that in the descriptions. Until next time, bye-bye.